include Alicorno, we're looking at Imbrocata and Stoccata. These are also quite short, and they're very, very similar to what we looked at with Colombo Strata. So we can use a Mezzanotrito, we can use a Ridopio, depending on where the thrusting, or we can step back and strike the hand. So we're here in Alicorno, we're going to step slightly to their left, hitting with the Mezzanotrito to the sword, and thrusting to the chest or cutting to the face and then coming back to Alicorno because that's where we want to be. If they go a little bit more towards our right, this allows us to kind of gather up, come underneath, and thrust to their arm, armpit, side, from below their own imbrocata. Or we can simply, especially going a little more to our left, strike the extending arm with a mezzo manrito against a stoccata. We have the same mezzo manrito response. Step to the side, thrust, or step to the side, cut, and back up. And then finally we have our first and really the only hand defense. We're going to, it's kind of a precursor to the inside slip essentially. I'm going to guide their sword out of the way, which is easier to do with a spaccata, and then either strike their head with a reverso or thrust to their face with an imbrocata. So we are here. The rising thrust is coming. We guide it out of the way with our hand. I'm not trying to grab it. I'm just simply deviating it, deflecting it from me. Or strike to the head with any verso, which given where their sword is going, would be very difficult for them to cover. Uh, but again, I stress this is not about grabbing, about trying to push, I'm trying to deviate at that point. Any extra movement, any extra energy is going to be too much, and they can very easily deal with that. Uh, so the dagger, our one defense against the Imbocata is simply Mandrito and a reverse of the face, so except we're going sitting behind and slicing to the face here. So we're stepping behind and not to the left, and then we step to the left with the cut to the face. Against the spokato, we do the inside slip, which we just learned, which could be a thrust over top. But because our dagger is in the vicinity, I may need to change the attack to a cut to the right instead. Totally fine. And finally, we can beat, in this case, thrust with a punta de barza. To finish this guard, we have the cloak. And against the Imbricata, we do have an ounce of step, which we did not have from sword and dagger, which is an interesting uh, change. But of course, we always have the Metsu on Dirto. We can always use that. So here, beat thrust, or beat and cut. And if they're going a little bit more to my right, We simply guide it to our outside, strike to the head with the reverso. And against this Tocati, it shows one single action. It's the inside slip with thrust and or cut to the leg. So we're here. And we finish with thrust. And obviously, you do the cut too. That concludes Guardia de Corona with the right to forward. All that's left is left unicorn, which is a very short guard because it does exactly the same thing against all-star attack.